What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the car. About to head to Orlando, man. I gotta do this check-in, you know, foot action check-in, the reservation app, yada, yada, yada. So I gotta drive to Orlando, do this check-in so I can increase my chances, try and get a head start. Currently, I'm at six minutes. I'm trying to at least get the nine to 10. Also, I head up to the trophy room and do their in-store raffle as well. And other than that, I probably can visit one or two outlets while I'm there. Makes sense, round trip. If I'm gonna drive an hour, at least I gotta make the best out of it. I ain't gonna hold you up, nor board you. So let's get on the move and see what's popping in these stores. All right, just pulled up to the Nike Outlet Clearance here on International. Yo, your boy made a stupid mistake, man. I assume I had time to go and check in at Foot Action like I mentioned earlier, but uh, the reservation closed. It closed at 6 p.m. Eastern time, my time. So it's 9-11 right now. So yeah, this is, I'm pretty much stuck at six minutes and just, I gotta hope for the best, man. But anyways, man, we still got the trophy room. So I'm gonna hit up this outlet and then possibly, cause it's raining right now, go to the second outlet and then I'm gonna head over to the trophy room to sign up for the in-store raffle. Let's keep it moving, all right? Follow me. Yo, right now I'm in kids. The kids got a whole lot of heat. And unfortunately, there ain't really much in men's or women I comb through. But I'm gonna show you guys the kids. It's gonna be little. It's gonna be something different, man. I hope you guys appreciate it, man. Let's take a look at some of these kids' shoes, bro. We're gonna start from the very bottom, man. You got these twos right here, Brady Raheem's. These UNC 31s. These Jordan 1 Fly Knit Royals. More 31s. Excuse me, 32s. And this is the second row here, man. Spigzites. Jordan 1s. Yo, the Leathermans. Perforated. Yo, are these Jordan 5s or white joints? 4Y. Pantones. 13 lows, KDs, 32s, Jordan 6, All-Stars. I mean, they even got LeBrons, 16s, $85. Air Max, $44. Jordan 3, Wool Grays, $30, man. Not a bad price. What about these Jordan 4 Linens, $75? Other side, man, Jordan 3s. Jordan 1s, Jordan 13s, History of Flights, four and a half wide. More perforated ones. I don't know if this is the Yang or Yang. $60 for these. Jordan 2 wings, the red and black joints. They only got the 14s here. They're going for 80 though. Thornbeckers. Yo, they even got the laser ones joints. These things came out like two or three years ago. $50. One mids, look like some Brazilian colorway, $40. And you got an all white mid. You got some gray truck. $60. You got these Air Maxes with the chameleon paint job, $55. Got these Gatorade sixes, $140. 31s, what's these N7s? Yup, 100. Got the metallic ones, KDs, more Radio Raheems. Red and black joints. What are these? Cyber threes. Seventy-five dollars. This is what's behind the counter. So we just pulled up to Disney Springs, about to go to the chauffeur room, pull this raffle out. It's kind of packed out here too, man. So that's the wrap, man. Went to the chauffeur room, filled up the raffle for those Cactus Jacks, size 12. Hopefully, hopefully I win. But, um, I gotta rap with you guys, man. I got a little annoyed today at the Nike out, and I'm gonna explain why. Let me talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, so we back in the sneaker room. But before I go into my rant, man, I wanna give a big shout out 
to all the homies who came up to me today. I was in a Nike clearance store and Chris came up to me. He's from Ohio, he watches the video. Salute to you, appreciate you, thanks. Big up to him. Also went to the trophy room, ran to another subscriber, he's from North Carolina. And then I also went to a second Nike outlet, which I did not record because it really wasn't much. Employee came up to me and say, what up, man? So salute to y'all, appreciate the support and keep watching. Now about my rant. Where do I begin, man? First of all, let me show you my pickups. I know I'm all over the place because I got a lot on my mind, but let me show you my pickup. Peek the label. This is a size 11, not my size, but you already know what it is. This is the Jordan 11 UNC 6. This joint came out last year in December-ish, first week of December. I did not cop this pair. I actually won this pair, I went to the local finish line. They say they didn't have much pairs, but when they get a new shipment, they'll put my name on it. A new shipment came in, but I didn't react in time, so my pair was sold. So I kind of moved on and moved past it. But I saw these joints. However, these were a size 11, not my size. It's still a bittersweet. I was thinking about, I was just cop it and probably do a trade swap, but I don't know, man. I don't know. But you won't believe what your boy paid for this, man. These joints were a hundred dollars. That's right, a hundred dollars man so that's what it's 40 percent off the original retail was 190 that was just regular price anyway it was, it was no discounts it wasn't no weekend sale it was just going for 99 dollars and i was able to cop it let me remind you there was multiple pairs i kind of messed up here's how i messed up when i went in i did a quick glimpse to the left and usually on the left hand side when you walk in the outlet, that's where they put the heat. They put the heat behind the counters. I kind of took a glimpse over there. I did see the Easter's 11 and that was about it. I kept it moving. I should have circled back and see what else they had, but I did it. So I continued looking, looking, looking. I did not find anything in the men's sizes. I went through the women's five, absolutely nothing. But the kids, they had heat. That's the video you guys just saw. As I was leaving, I decided, let me circle through and see what they actually have. You know, even though I know I saw Easter's at a glance, let me just see what else they have. So I went up there, they had this box, the Jordan 6 box. What's inside that box? He was like, yo, there's sixes. I was like, how much? At 100. I said, say no more. Do you have my size? They did not have my size. And I was combing through, it was all 11s, 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 11s. I said, well, let me just get a pair. He said, you have to wait in line. I was like, all right, bet. Got in line. I kept chatting with the subscriber, Chris. I don't want to say subscriber, so I was chatting with Chris. And he was like the second person in line. I was the third. As I got to the front of the line, before the cashier called me, see in the background saying, hey, he has to go back in line. As I looked, there was a cat buying up all the pairs. I'm talking about every single Jordan 6 UNCs. The cashier that was selling me my pair was telling another employee, hey, he has to go in line. But apparently it was too late. So I just out the whim like, yo, make sure you got my pair, man. Secure my pair first. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he does, but secure my pair. He ran through, he grabbed the last box off the floor. Apparently this guy actually bought all the shoes, which almost left me with no shoes. That's not what I'm upset about. What I'm upset about is because I had to wait in line. I had to go through the line and wait my turn before I can make that purchase. I went through the line, right? And I got to the front and my pair was almost sold by somebody, a reseller, who actually came through and bought up all the pairs. If I didn't say anything, he would have bought my pair as well. Given the fact he skipped the line, skipped everybody else, if I have to wait in line just to get one pair, then he should wait in line to get one pair. And if there's more pairs available, I can go back in line, I can get me a second pair, and so on and so forth. It give everyone an equal playing field. But this cat just bought up all the pairs. I wanted to get more than one pair. I was gonna hit my homeboy off with one. He actually wears size 11. I don't. That's what I want to do. That was my intention, but it didn't pan out, man. Now, I'm not opposed to people buying shoes and bundles because I know you guys ask me for shoes. So imagine if I'm that guy who's buying three or four shoes of the same shoe in line, you know what I'm saying? I want nobody hating on. But the matter of the fact is, if I wait in line and he also wait in line, but apparently the employee who sold him all those shoes didn't know that he was supposed to go back in line after he purchased one pair. For the greedy reseller who just wanted all the pairs, man. Yo, leave some for other people, man. I mean, if you get shoes and you can resell them to make a profit, by all means. And this is an outlet. And granted, they do have their policies, they do have their rules, but the rules was bent. It wasn't broken, it was bent. It was an employee not knowing the procedure. And there's also a reseller taking advantage 
of the employee not knowing the procedure. First of all, I got skipped. He bought numerous pairs, had to get in line, and I could only get one pair. So I'm kind of, it's like a kind of bittersweet, man. It was, I, I, for $100? Who don't want this shoe for $100, man? $100? I, who, this shoe sold out day one. Granted, they had multiple restocks of this shoe, but this shoe for $100? Where can you buy this shoe for $100, man? Where? Let me know. StockX? No. Retail or above? eBay? Above retail. Unless it's used. This is DS here straight from nike authenticated i don't even think it's a b grade i haven't unlaced it man because i know it's not gonna fit it's a size 11 the last time i had a size 11 it was uncomfortable man so anyways man that was my rant i apologize in advance <laughs> anyways man if you like what you just saw you like the outlet video not the rant but just the whole experience as is and I also did something unique and different i predominantly just shot kids because they had the most heat <sighs> If you like what you just saw, get in the subscribe button and a notification bell as well. Don't forget to hit always so you can always get a notification when I drop a video like this. Everybody else, man, keep leaving your comments down below and I keep replying to you as soon as I can. Until then, y'all, you already know my slogan. $100, bro. Good to go.